linear factor that is a plus bx type of things that is multiplied with homo into homogeneous format that is Hello everyone, greetings of the day and I am Priyanka Godara again here with the revision series of ordinary differential equation. Till now we have done two videos for revision. One is this ordinary differential equation of first order and uh, first degree and then we have started first degree but higher order and into that we have done linear differential equation with constant coefficients. But in this series, what we would be doing, what if you do have not constant coefficients, but some coefficients that contains power of x and specifically that nth order derivative do have x raised to power n, n minus 1 order derivative do have with it x raised to power n minus 1 and so on. So this kind of equation, they are known as homogeneous differential equation. And since we are dealing with the first degree, so this would be what? homogeneous linear differential equation. So let's have a look over that generally how a homogeneous linear differential equation looks like. So any differential equation which is of this type that there is p naught then x raised to power n along with nth order derivative of y then p1 is some constant x raised to power n minus 1 and it is where n minus first order derivative and similarly there is some constant y and into right hand side there is x. If your formatting of is of this order then this is known as what homogeneous linear equation or linear differential equation. But how you would be solving this? We don't have any of the method for this one that how to solve linear differential equation which contains these powers of x raised to power n. So specifically for this we have to do some substitution and what is that substitution? Under this substitution we will be changing our independent variable. So let's see, let what you would be doing here, let x is equal to e raised to power z. That is the substitution that we are going to do and then what would happen? If x is equal to e raised to power z, this implies z is equal to log x. And we do have, we want to change our independent variable x with by independent variable z. For that what you would be doing, you have to change all the differential coefficients as well. So you need to find out the value of dy by dx, value of d square y by dx square and up to nth order. So how you will find out that? See, by chain rule, if you have to find out, find out dy by dx, here what you do have? y is a function of x usually but what we have done we have converted x as a function of z as well so yahan tak z ho gaya aur hame convert bhi z tak karna hai so what you would be doing to find out dy by dx you will be writing this as first you have to differentiate this with respect to z and then z would be differentiated with respect to x so it would be dy by dz into dz by dx but what is dz by dx? We will find out this from here dz by dx. It is 1 by x only. So substitute this value out there. What you will get? We will be getting dy by dx is equal to 1 by x dy by dz. So once you have converted your first order derivative or derivative coefficient, this operator you can say into z format. What if you have to find out d square y by dx square? So for that what we will be doing? If you have to find out d square y by dx square, how you would be writing this one? Once we would be differentiating again dy by dx with respect to x. So let's substitute these values. What is this dy by dx? I would be substituting this value here. So we will be getting d square y by dx square is equal to dy dx of 1 by x dy by dz. Okay, and from here also what we will be doing? We will do one thing. Multiply this x this side and dy by dx. It is not 
practical. This would be dy by dz. Okay, what is this? X into dy by dz. ये हमें कहीं ना कहीं तो चाहिए जो यहाँ first order derivative हुआ that is required. Again, for second order derivative, d square y by dx square would be of this type. First, this is first function, this is second function. Derivative of product rule. What is that? If you do have two functions u and v, then their derivative would be derivative first first function into derivative second plus second function into derivative first so same we will apply here so first function 1 by x as it is derivative of second but this is dy by z what we will be doing d square y by dz square and then derivative of z with respect to x plus second function as it is derivative of first and what is derivative of dz by dx what is this dz by dx it would be minus 1 by x square dy by dz only. Now we will re rearrange this one a bit. Let's move to the next page. What we have got? d square y by dx square. It turned out to be 1 by x d square y by dx square minus 1 by x square साथ में इसके dy by dz भी था, yes, dz by dx भी है. This is dy by dz and here we left dz by dx. And what is dz by dx? It is 1 by x as we have found out here. dz by dx is 1 by x. Let's put all these values. This is 1 by x. Again this is 1 by x so it would be 1 by x square d square y by dx square minus this is 1 by x square dy by dz, dz square, not x square, dz square and it is d square y by dx square. So here we do have x square in the denominator and it can be taken common. So let, let's take it common and multiply it on the left hand side. It would be x square d square y by dx square minus, not minus, equal to it would be d square y by d z square minus d y by d z. But when we solve differential equation, na, usually we formulate our differential equation into auxiliary equation. And for that auxiliary equation, the differential operators are replaced by d. For instance, d y d z, that would be capital D. Then d square y d z square, that would be capital D square and so on. We usually prefer, prefer that. So in that way, what we will get? x square into d square y by dx square. It turns out to be d square y minus d y. Where what we do have? d y d z is treated as capital D. d square y d square y d z square is d square and so on. Can I take y common? This would be d square minus d into y. And again, if I want to write it after rearranging, then it would be d into d minus 1 and y. So similarly, if you will proceed in this manner now, then what you will get? You will be getting that next coefficient that we require into the homogeneous equation is kahi na kahi ye bhi aega. Constant chahe kuch bhi ho, there would be x cube b cube y by d x cube. So, ye bhi chahiye. And similar way mein, if you do follow the pattern, then first we have find out d y by d x. x into d y by d x turned out to be d y by d z. Ye aya tha hamara. Ye dikhiye. x into d y by d x is equal to d y by d z. And I have replaced d by d z by a capital D. So, it turned out to be x dy by dx is equal to capital dy. Okay. When you had first order derivative, there was only d. When you do have second order derivative, there was d and d minus 1. Similarly, if you would be having three order derivative multiplied with x raised to power 3, then it would be what? d, d minus 1, d minus 2, y and so on. So, this reduction of all differential operators turned out to be this way. And what we are getting, the pattern that we observe is 
If you do have second order derivative, here you would be having minus 1. If you do have third order derivative, then you have to move up to d minus 2. That is 1 less than that. And similarly, if you do have nth order derivative, then it would reduce to up to n minus 1 plus 1. This way, this you can return, write this as well, this way as well. Instead of, if you do want to remember, then you can write it in this manner. Okay, and that is how you would be reducing this one. So, after reducing this one, you can solve any of the differential equation. For instance, if you want to have one of the example for this one. So, let us assume any differential equation of this format. If I would be writing x cube d cube y by dx cube plus 4x square d square y by dx square minus 5 x dy by dx plus kitna leke chale 6 whatever you want to is equal to x square e raised to power x if you do have this format then how it would reduce what we need to do see everywhere the differential operator would be turned out to be this way if you would be replacing both x is equal to e raised to power z then you can perform up to two order that yaha tak dikha dijiye and then you would be directly saying that this way nth order differential would be turning out to be in this format and then replace these values so it would be what d into d minus 1 yaha 3 hai to kaha tak jana hai 2 tak plus i would be writing y outside everyone then it would be plus 4 d into d minus 1 minus 5 d plus 6 into y and the right hand side is x square means e raised to power 2z and then e raised to power x would be e raised to power e raised to power z and this would be a simple differential equation that we have solved by using last method. So, do find out its factor, do find out its complementary factor and then for right hand side to find out its particular integral and that is how you would be solving this one. But next format that we do have for revision purpose, what if instead of your x raised to power n, you have something of type a plus b x raised to power n, a plus b x raised to power n minus 1, a plus b x and so on. See, this time, instead of having the power of x only, you do have a linear factor that is a plus b x type of things that is multiplied with homo into homogeneous format that is with nth order differential coefficients you would be having multiply multiplication of this n degree factor then with n minus first order differential operator you would be having its n minus one bar and so on so what you would be doing we have to proceed into similar manner last time we have replaced or you can say we have substituted x by e raised to power z this time you would be replacing or substituting a plus bx by e raised to power z and then what you will be getting z is equal to log of a plus bx and after that what we need to do we need to find out all the differential operators and we will start for that from dy by dx so let's see for that we will be requiring dz by dx as well now so it would be what 1 by a plus bx into d nothing dz by dx now we our task is to find by find out dy by dx it would be dy by dz into dz by dx and what is dz by dx it is this value so it would be 1 by a plus bx dy by dz and fir uske baad kya kar dete hain isko idhar multiply kar do so we will be getting a plus bx dy by dx is equal to dy by dz and what if i replace d by dz by capital d then it then we will be getting a plus bx dy by dz it turned out to be capital d y only similarly we require d square y by dx square as well and kaise nikal de hai once doing the derivative of dy by dx and what is dy by dx this one so replace this value here dy dx 1 by a plus bx dy by dz similarly again we will be applying the product rule of differentiation and that is first function as it is 
into derivative of second. So, it would be first with respect to z and then z's derivative with respect to x dz by dx plus second function as it is and derivative of first and what would be derivative of this one. So, derivative of this is minus a plus bx square into b. Yehi banta hai na? And now do whatever we want we can do. From here what we will be getting? Yaha se kya aega? dz by dx ek bar or replace kar di jiye. dy by dz kuch raha tha kya? D. Log b z is equal to 1 by x. Saath mein b raha gaya tha bhai. B. Because once you would be de doing derivative of this na? So it would be b. Or jaysa hi yaha b aata hai to b would be here as well. Yaha b. और अब वैल्यूज देख लीजिए जो बनेगा dy वाई बाई डी एक्स बी स्क्वायर हो जाएगा अभी एंड यहाँ से एक बार और पुट करोगे दिस वुड बी बी स्क्वायर ओवर ए प्लस बी एक्स होल स्क्वायर क्योंकि यहाँ से भी आएगा b इन बी ओवर ए प्लस बी एक्स एंड इट इज डी स्क्वायर वाई बाई डी जेड स्क्वायर फ्रॉम हेयर वी विल बी गेटिंग माइनस बी स्क्वायर ओवर ए प्लस बी एक्स होल स्क्वायर डी वाई बाई डी जेड एंड फ्रॉम हेयर वट वी डू हैव b square is common then a plus bx is also common so do multiply this on the right hand side and you will be getting a plus bx whole square b square y by dx square right hand side would be b square i would be taking common and inside again we have d square y by dz square minus dy by dz what it would be b square again outside and it is d square minus d outside y then I can write b square d into d minus 1 y and so on. So if you would be writing this format then what would be q wala factor. So similarly iske baad to pattern yada ho hi jata hai then it would be a plus b x q d q y by d x q. This would be what if you do have here power 2 then b square would be there. Here, here what we do have power 3 so it would be b cube and then similar thing d d minus 1 and d minus 2 y so similar manner if you would proceed then you will get a plus b x raised to power n d raised to power n y over d x raised to power n what it would be with respect to power n you will be having b raised to power n and then you need to write starting from d up to d minus n minus 1 d minus 2 up to d minus n minus 1 within bracket y and so on. So that is how you are going to reduce these homogeneous equation by using this formula. Formula is simple put x is equal to e raised to power z or a plus bx is equal to e raised to power z and then proceed. Procedure is same that you have to replace your independent variable x with some another independent variable z and then this equation would reduce into your Cons equation linear differential equation with constant coefficients and for this to solving them what we will use we will use part 2 of the revision series okay guys so that was the part 3 of revision revision series in the next series we will be revising some specific methods to solve second order differential equation Chaliye fir. see you in the next class stay tuned thank you